Hi, and welcome back. The aim of this lecture is to explain what is a business model canvas and how to read it. After this lecture, you will be able to understand the characteristics that define a startup compared to other businesses. Let's start with the definition. A business model canvas is a visual chart template designed to develop new business models. Here, we present you the template of this model. As you can see, it represents the different elements to be designed and tested in order for your new business to create, distribute and capture value. This model was invented by Alexander Osterwalder, a Swiss business theorist in 2008. After that, many new canvas templates for specific niches have appeared. One of them is the one developed by Fashion Technology Accelerator, specifically formulated for fashion startups. Besides the traditional elements, new ones have been added or adapted to the specificities of this industry. The first and most important element is the value proposition, which is an innovation, service or feature intended to make a company or a product attractive to customers. But how can you identify the value proposition? First of all, you need to identify a pain or a gap in the market. Some questions can help you to understand if there are pains or gaps such as Is there a situation causing frustration for customers? Is there the lack of offering for a specific fit? Is there the lack of quality at an affordable price? Once you have identified one pain in the market, you should understand if the business concept you have in mind can be a suitable solution for this pain. There are some questions that can help you to understand if your innovation really answers the problem identified. For example, do you provide a better comfort, better quality, better price? Are you offering an opportunity for customers to feel unique, smarter? Do you save time? Let's see the case of Rent the Runway, which is a service providing rental for high-end fashion clothes. First of all, we have to ask ourselves, which is the pain this company has identified? Firstly, potential customers had not access to high-end expenses dresses. Secondly, potential customers were frustrated to wear the same clothes on multiple occasions. Thirdly, potential customers were frustrated to have a wardrobe full of clothes but nothing to wear. Now, Think about the gain they are providing to these customers. Customers now have, at an affordable price, nice outfits to wear for just one event. At the same price, those customers have access to a higher number of outfits. And finally, they don't need to store all these different clothes in their wardrobe. Let's go back to the canvas developed by Fashion Technology Accelerator. The second element to consider is the buyer personas. But what is a buyer persona? It is a semi-fictional representation of your ideal customer, identified through a mix of market researches and real data about existing customers, if present. The following question is, why do we need to define a buyer persona? First of all, to understand for each different persona which types of gain you can provide. In fact, different personas might adopt your innovation for different needs and with different approaches. Secondly, having clear in mind the three, four personas can help the entire organization to focus and to be aligned on the communication activities. As a result, you will be able to attract and engage the most valuable visitors, leads and customers. There is another important question about this element of the canvas developed by Fashion Technology Accelerator. Which techniques can you use to define the buyer personas? It depends on how far you are in the company stage. If you are at the beginning, you can start by interviewing potential customers. If you have a presence online and also some customers, you can do some research of the profiles of your following base and also a survey to your actual customer. At the end, you will be able to determine for each persona 
customer's demographics, behavioral patterns, and finally, motivations, goals, and preferences. This is an example of bio persona. You can see her bio, her personality, her main social media challenges, and finally, her challenges and how the solution can help solve them. In conclusion, so far, we have seen two important elements of the business model canvas for fashion startups. The value proposition, which is the value created by your new business, and the buyer personas, that are those people you're addressing the value created.